This is his inventory. All right, like he has an amazing freaking collection. If I'm not mistaken, he has almost every single knife possible in the game. Hey guys, D Field here, and welcome back to a brand new Roblox Assassin episode. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. We have a special guest in today's episode right off the start. You guys can already probably tell from the title of the video. We have our boy Messi Banvier here in a private lobby and I actually wanted to literally just start off today's episode by showcasing his amazing inventory guys. Now I I'm not exactly sure if Messi has the most expensive inventory in all of Roblox Assassin guys but from my knowledge he is within at least the top five and if not he's really 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 close to like rank number one well not really rank but he's very very close to having literally the most expensive inventory that you can possibly have in all of roblox assassin now guys i'm not really uh very well educated in this topic because i don't do a lot of knife trading i don't do a lot of trading in general when it comes to roblox assassin knives but there's a whole community out there actually who just love to do trading whether it's from catalog items and collectibles or they actually do knife collecting like they do on assassin and murder mystery and all that fun stuff I actually reached out to Messi a couple of days ago and asked if I could showcase his inventory on a video and he was definitely down to do it and guys literally you guys are not gonna believe what this guy has okay like legitimately like look at this guys okay so I go to trade and I click on Messi Banvier this is his inventory all right like he has an amazing freaking collection if I'm not mistaken he has almost every single knife possible in the game okay so I'm not even gonna scroll down yet and you guys can already see he's got five ice ancients 10 spiders 13 dark horses 11 frigendos frizendo I don't even know how to pronounce that bro like legitimately like in my own inventory guys I do not even have a single mythical yet and this guy has multiple of like some of the most top tier uh, like elementals and you know mythicals that you can actually get like he's got the earth elementals he's got 10 rainbow sears the fire elemental literally everything you could possibly want in a single inventory like it, he has it guys and obviously one of the most prized knives that you guys could possibly ask for the one that I got a couple of weeks back I'm gonna creep scrolling here guys he's got the dragon breath ice lord like not only guys does he have one he literally has multiple of a lot of these freaking knives and I'm just really wondering like how long right how long do you have to spend in order to trade in order to get all these freaking knives now from my knowledge guys this guy as I said is probably one of the like the top two at least most expensive inventories on a roblox assassin so how long did it take for him to collect all of these knives do you guys think like obviously you got to do a lot of trading you got to do a lot of everything and this is probably the one that you guys are going to want to see the most he has 16 corrupted axes all right he has 16 freaking corrupted axes guys now i'm going to move my face cam for one quick second here because i got to show you guys what he said in the chat but on the top left here right when i was telling him I was about to record he actually said that about a month ago he had 27 corrupt axes corrupted axes in the entire like in his inventory like 27 of them that is an insane amount of freaking corrupted axes and I know a lot of you guys want this freaking axe it's probably one of the most rarest knives right now available on assassin and the fact that he has 16 of them dude oh my gosh it's literally just so freaking crazy obviously the guys he's got the elegant blade because those are tradable but it doesn't actually look like he has the uh doesn't actually look like he has the one for the top 10 because those ones are not tradable yet i mean i don't actually know if they're gonna ever make those ones uh tradable but holy crap what a freaking collection i'm just like kind of going through everything he's got like four krampuses six skeleton kings let's see what else he's got that I can even recognize there's probably some knives in here that are actually really expensive and I just have no idea because I don't I don't pay attention gosh it's just honestly just so crazy just how much freaking knives he has in general and guys I wanted to ask you guys one thing right so this guy obviously has a huge inventory by the way I got word that this guy's inventory if you were to sell everything in regards or in terms of uh, exotics 
This guy's inventory altogether is worth over 800 exotic knives. So if you guys were to get the most, like, the cheapest exotic knife out there that's only worth one exotic, like it's a one-to-one -one trade, his entire inventory is worth over 800. Like, isn't that freaking crazy? That's nuts to me, bro. I, don't, I can't even, like, you know, like, at a loss for words just how crazy this guy's inventory is. Now, the one thing that I do have to say, and I'm gonna ask you guys this question because you guys are, like, the ones who are looking into the collections and stuff like that, right? Do you guys think that he should I mean obviously it's up to him it's his collection but do you guys think that he should collect every single knife in the game like do you look at that the heck he's freaking killing himself in the background but do you guys think as I was saying that he should literally get every possible knife in the game because obviously you guys can see here everything below exotic he really doesn't have much like I think these are like just the really really rare ones so what do you guys think dude like you mean obviously there's uncommons there's legendaries there's commons there's I don't, I don't even know what else tiers there are but obviously there's probably like another 50 plus ish knives or so that are really really cheap that he could probably get with like you know without him even trying but i feel like in order to have a complete like collection you just have to have all of them right but guys once again quick shout out to messy banvir for showcasing his freaking inventory thanks for showcasing dude that's an awesome inventory all right, I gotta freaking, I gotta give this guy a big shout out. I really just wanna know how many hours he's actually spent trading in the Roblox world, or even just on Roblox Assassin. Like, how many hours, how much time, how much dedication does it take to, like, you know, to get that many freaking knives? It's insane. And, guys, he's not the only trader out there. I'm gonna ask you guys a couple of questions about trading and all that fun stuff in a second, but hold on, let's get into a quick game. Back in the normal lobby now, and I wanna ask you guys this question because I'm actually quite interested to see what you guys think about these people who do a lot of trading. So obviously in a game like Roblox, there's a lot of different things that you can actually collect, whether it's knives on a specific game, or maybe you're collecting collectibles that are you can buy on like the Roblox catalog for real money and stuff like that. But in your guys' opinion, let me know down in the comment sections below here, right? What would you guys do in order to be able to trade some of the rarest items in the game and to kind of have a sort of collection like that guy just had that I just showed you. Are you guys willing to spend hours and hours of your time kind of like they did in order to get the best possible inventory that they could have possibly had? Now obviously guys it's just one of those things that you know I mean some people could say oh they could spend their time doing better things you know th than trading on Roblox but at the end of the day like they might just enjoy like they, they might just truly enjoy what they're freaking doing and like collecting and you know just collectibles in general are always just like a really really crazy thing to do because not everybody can get the same exact collectibles that you can so it's just one of those things that um I, I don't really know what the word for it is like not everybody can appreciate the amount of time the amount of effort and the amount of stuff that it takes to be like an actual collector in any sort of game like whether it's like pokemon cards or roblox items or anything but yeah my question was to you guys would you guys if you had the ability to the capabilities of doing so would you guys get into roblox trading or like maybe starting your own collection or of something and if you guys are already collecting something comment section below dudes what are you guys collecting right now? Like, back when I was young, I remember I used to collect a lot of Pokemon cards. Like, for my birthdays, like, this was probably when I was, like, six or seven, maybe even, like, eight years old, guys. Like, I always asked all of my mom's friends and my parents to buy me Pokemon cards, Pokemon, like, trading card decks in order for me to open them up during my birthdays and special occasions so that I could, like, just widen my collection. And I think when I was a kid, dude, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards, I'm pretty sure I had, like, over... 2,000 Pokemon cards at one point like I was one of those nerds with like the really really big binder And I just brought that everywhere whenever I was going to like my friend's house and stuff And we'd always like trade cards and do all that fun stuff So I in the past when I was young obviously I definitely, you know, like, was one of those people that, like, collected something. So I want to know if you guys, you know, if you had the ability to, would you guys collect Roblox items? Or would you guys, you know, would you guys be willing to do something along those lines? Whether it's collecting an item in real life or something along those lines. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment sections below. Let's go ahead and finish this game right here because I'm trying to freaking win at least the one game of Assassin after seeing that freaking inventory and just got to pull the W here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, baby. 
Oh, dude, if I lose to this guy right here, I'm going to feel so salty. I have the elegant blade in hand as well, dude. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Roblox. If you guys did enjoy at any time, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. And don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe as well. Welcome to our family. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is D-Field. We will see you guys tomorrow for another Roblox video. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Peace.